Here is another lung. You can see the pleural surfaces over the lung, the lung areas which are pinker are nice and smooth and glistening. You can also see areas in which the overlying surface is more dull and fibrous and perhaps even thickened, although it's hard to describe the concept of thick just from a picture. But imagine that this uh, thickened overlying pleural-like surface is kind of pressing into the lung a little bit. Well, if it originated in the pleura, it could be a mesothelioma, and if it invades the lung, you would want to call it a malignant mesothelioma. This case is called malignant mesothelioma. But please remember, there are it's very, very, very common to have these little pleural nodules, even along the visceral or parietal pleural surfaces that stay there for many years. They look like just a little lump of fibrous tissue. They never harm anybody. But Sometimes the mesotheliomas can invade, compress the lung, and even kill. So all in all, most classifications now would just like to use the word mesothelioma, implying they could potentially be all potentially malignant, but many of them never really do any harm. This one is probably doing some harm because you could see a normal, beautiful, maybe a little congested lung surface out here. Maybe some of that uh, stuff, fluid-like stuff filling the alveoli could be pulmonary edema because it is pulmonary edema. All of these little red areas are congested veins within the septae and alveolar walls. Uh, so not only is this lung showing passive congestion, but it's a passive congestion to the point where the fluid is actually leaking out into the alveola. This is acute pulmonary edema. Uh, might have been his worst problem, but another problem is that we got this area here growing along the pleural surface, which is that thickened part of pleura, visceral pleura, not parietal pleura, which is the malignant mesothelioma. Uh, notice that the mesothelioma is very much growing like an adenocarcinoma, with these little strips and glands. And quite frankly, you know, anybody could very easily mistake this for an adenocarcinoma. And uh, really, um, it's not until you do uh, a battery of stains, either routine stains or special antigen stains, where you look for antigens that are common for mesothelial cells but not epithelial cells or vice versa that you could tell this is a, a mesothelioma. This happens to be one that's growing in, in kind of a gland-like uh, pattern, however. Also notice from a cytologic point of view that the mesothelial cells themselves are showing some variation. It's not particularly the worst you've ever seen, which might explain why, at least for now, or at least in this area, it's to just be uh, toying with the bra and the superficial lung, and it hasn't really gone directly in to invade it yet, but could very easily do that with time. This was probably an incidental finding at an autopsy, but uh, it doesn't look like something like this. If this was the greatest extensive, it could have possibly killed the person. Thank you very much.